Hey guys, how's it going? So we're back with another video and I'm excited to share this one with you. Um, we're going to be barbecuing up some pork ribs. Now, I love pork. Um, here in Canada, uh, it goes for about $1.99 a pound. Uh, I can get some nice ribs. Uh, it's probably the cheapest meat here in Canada um, per pound. Uh, it's high in vitamin D and B1, which is awesome. Uh, and it's high in magnesium and potassium. So those are good things. Um, the downfall though, beef is always king when it comes to iron and zinc, but that's okay for $1.99 a pound, I'll take it. Um, now, pork is higher in protein uh, per ounce. Uh, pork's usually about nine grams of protein per ounce and beef's at about 7.5. So uh, if you really are looking for protein and bang for your buck, pork is the king. Uh, so. Let's get started. I've got my oven. Now, I know I'm barbecuing these, um, but to save on propane and time, I'm gonna put these in the oven. And uh, yeah, so preheat your oven to 300 degrees. Uh, it's gonna cook in there for about two hours. Okay, so we got our ribs. I like to do them in tin foil so they stay nice and moist. Um, it's a nice little trick. So first things first, I'm gonna hit it with some hickory liquid smoke. Again, you don't have to if you don't want to, but don't be afraid to use spices. Try and experiment. I'm just gonna let that soak in. And we're gonna hit it with just some pink Himalayan salt all over that. Mm. Some ground pepper. Now I got this, uh, the keg uh, chicken and rib. There's no carbohydrates in that, which is awesome, but I haven't had it yet. So I'm kind of wondering what it's gonna taste like. So we're just gonna put some of that on. I got this at the Costco. I'm hoping it's not too salty. All right, so we got one side there. Pat all that in. And we're gonna rotate it over. Okay. Nice, good. And we're gonna hit it with the other side, the exact same thing. A Little bit of liquid smoke. Salt. Pepper. And we'll finish it with this chicken and rib seasoning. Mm. Now again, if you can't handle the spices, if your uh, body can't tolerate it for whatever reason, just skip it. Salt and pepper will work great. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna fold the tin foil around the pork ribs, okay? It doesn't have to be fancy. Just do your best. want it fairly snug that way the juices can't run out There we go. Now, you're gonna wanna place it onto a cookie sheet or 
a nice baking sheet, whatever you want. I've got this elevated grill. So there we go, it's just gonna sit down on that. Okay guys, we got our pork ribs wrapped up in aluminum foil. We're gonna stick it in the oven for two hours. We're gonna flip them halfway in between, okay? So set your timer, uh, again, temperature 300 degrees. Just on the top rack. And now the benefit of that, again, you're saving propane. Uh, it's pretty expensive right now. But the other thing is, when you just put the ribs on the barbecue, they tend to dry out. Um, these here, they're gonna stay nice and moist, nice and tender. We're gonna finish them up on the grill so they get that smoky flavor, that crisp char. Oh. All right, guys, the moment of truth. We've got, we're just gonna turn this off here. There we go. So it's been two hours. We flipped it after an hour. Um, again, we're about to pull them out. Let's take a look here. Let's see if, you, if I can get you guys a better shot at that. There we go. So what we're gonna do is just slowly peel back the tin foil. Now be careful, there's probably a lot of juices. It's gonna be a little hot, so just be careful of that. Mm. So here's what I'm looking at here. It smells really good. Now it's not done yet, obviously. Uh, we still got a probably about a half hour on the grill. Not quite, probably 20 minutes, but it's almost done. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna transition this onto a large board here. And we'll take it outside and finish it off. There we go. Okay guys, so we've got our pre-cooked pork ribs here and we're heating up the barbecue. Now you want it to get to at least 300, uh, ideally about 400 degrees. Uh, mine is just heating up, it's almost at the right temperature. So let's go ahead and get the ribs on here. There we go. Now, what I like to do, I like to throw them on the top rack first for a little bit. so that smoke can get all over them. Yeah, there they go. They're balanced okay. I'm just gonna keep the barbecue. Once it's heated up, just leave it on low. All right, guys, so it's been about 10 minutes, so let's take a look here. Let's see. It's looking pretty good. Look at that. That side's done. We're going to just get it back up on top again here. Let that cook for about another 10 minutes. Okay, guys, so 10 minutes have passed. Let's take a look see. I'm just going to put it down there. Okay, so get the thermometer out here. I'm just going to Stick that in. Now we're looking at for about 145. So that is 153. So that's done. I'm just gonna hit it again. 150, 159. So that's done. So I would say it's definitely done. Slightly over, but that's okay. I'd rather have it cooked than not cooked. All right, guys. So here is the finished product my goodness look at that oof so it's important to let it sit for approximately five to ten minutes just so the juices get absorbed inside okay 
Um, grab a sharp knife, very important. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut along the rib bone here. Just let the knife do, it, do the work, okay? There we go. Mmm. Look at that. Hit a little spot on that one. There we are, perfect, perfect ribs there. Look at that, nice and juicy. You can still see that juice coming off of there. It's definitely cooked, not too dry. We are good to go. And that is a nice, easy carnivore meal uh, that I think you guys are gonna enjoy. Take care. Thanks for watching guys. If you find my channel entertaining, educational, or just want to show me some love, please consider liking and subscribing. And until next time, meet good, bread bad.